Welcome back. It's Scantily Clad in the Kitchen. Hooray! My name is Diva Levita, and here today is my very special guest. Hi, I am Boobs Radley. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited that you are here with us today. What, what are you making for us? I am making hooch. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's a nice way of saying lemon shell out. Yes. So. Finally, someone is bringing me straight up alcohol. This makes me so happy. I, I, well, I don't cook. I like booze. <laughs> So that's what you're getting. Also, your hooch is legendary, so I'm delighted to learn Aww. how this is made from the master herself. I'm giving away all my secrets today. <gasps> Be afraid. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, where do we begin? You're gonna need some lemons. Okay. Usually we use about four. Um, so the first thing we do is grab, the, you can use uh, one of these zester things. Mm -hmm. These take too long and I'm lazy. <laughs> So th this is like, um, I don't want to say the lazy person's fancy beverage, but... Well, the, be the nice thing about it is that it doesn't take a long time to actually prepare. Okay. It takes, it takes time to like ferment or it's not really fermenting, it's but like mellow and, gra and the flavors infuse, the flavors and all that stuff. Yeah. But like hands-on time, like nothing. Mm. And I like that. I like that too. So the first thing you're going to want to do is grab Lemons, lemon, uh, and a quart jar. That's a big old jar. This is something from my grandparents' house. It's like an ancient jar. Um, grab those. Grab your peeler. I use a vegetable peeler because it basically gives you the same thing mm -hmm. as the you know zester thingy, but it's faster because you get bigger slices. And I usually use organic lemons because you're going to be infusing the rind or the peel into mm -hmm. vodka, so you don't want a lot of chemicals in there, but you know, chemicals are good for you. Pickle yourself from the inside out. That's right. It's good for the immune system. So basically, you're just, oh, I'm not doing this terribly. What? That's just the first one. That's right. But basically, um, sometimes I use a bowl. So actually, I think I'm gonna use a bowl for this. We have bowls. So all you're doing is getting what they call the they call it the zest, the sure. zest. So you don't want to get a lot of this yellow or a lot of this uh, white part. You just want to get that yellow part because that's where all the oils and the good stuff. This is this is already fragrant. You've always sliced it. Right, I it. know it smells really good. And then you can also like use some of the pit for your like garbage disposal or whatever. Oh. I mean, I don't have one because I live in a cheap ass apartment in Chicago. But if you, you know, are one of those one of those fancy folks who live in a house, and that would help just make your garbage and it has disposal. Been, yeah, it helps. It's supposed to help clean your garbage disposal and like so because you know you put like gross stuff in there and it yeah. starts to smell. So you can do that. Put in it. Put some lemon rind in there. Thanks. Helpful hints with boobs. Yeah, that's why I have. So you're going to do this with these four lemons. Cool. You're going to get these, and all you're doing is just taking off that. It's, see, it is. And <laughs> if you're really angry at your boyfriend, you can pretend. No, I'm kidding. It's like, oh, I was, I was going to say, we're, we're making them naked. We are making Oh, that. See, that sounds much nicer. <laughs> now they are also scantily clad in the kitchen. Right? They're like, oh my god, yeah. I've lost my, I've lost my <laughs> zest. I've lost my zest for life. Oh no. Poor lemon. So, uh, when when did you begin uh, making your own booze hall? Um, a few years ago, yeah. I was unemployed, and I just needed Christmas presents. <laughs> and this is actually a really good Christmas present, um, because it's not that expensive to make. You get some lemons, buy some really cheap um, vodka because you're gonna infuse it and put stuff in it, so it doesn't have to be the nicest vodka in the world. Yeah. Um, and you know some nice bottles from the dollar store and <laughs> boom you have Christmas presents yay so yeah that's when I started and then I started with a limoncello recipe I found somewhere and then I started doing other kinds of hooch I've done a kumquat kumquat is one of my favorites uh, rhubarb is when also another one of my favorite. kumquats do you also need to peel this tiny no because they're so tiny you can't really yeah so what I do with the kumquats is because they're basically if you're noticing a kumquat they're a tiny little, they look like a tiny little lemon. They're like mini citrus. It's this big. Yeah. So I just basically cut them in half and kind of squeeze them into the jar and then call that a day. I see. I see. Yeah, because that's, I, I, as we've established, I'm lazy. <laughs> 
So this is already kind of a, a nice multi-purpose sort of technique. Yes, exactly. You can use it. Um, I've also done it with rhubarb. You don't have to um, obviously skin the rhubarb. I'm <laughs> skinning it. I'm like skinning the lemon. Um, but you don't have to like peel the lemon or, or peel the rhubarb or anything yeah. like that. Or you can do it with berries or, you know, like herbs. Um, mm. So it's fun. Like a savory cheddar? Yeah, like, um, well, like I've done like a uh, lemon basil. Oh, that sounds nice. Which is nice. It's very summery, very, mm -hmm. and it's not quite as sweet. Um, sometimes when you do a liqueur like this, it can get a little, it can be sweet. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have a little bit of those herbs and that savory flavor. Uh, oh, woo, there we go. <laughs> okay, so now they are naked. You have these little mm -hmm. lemon zest. What you do? Yes. Stick them in the in the jar. In the jar. Great. In the jar. Yeah. It just smells like springtime, you guys. I know. I, I my hands smell like lemon pledge. It's so nice. It's nice. I do like the lemon pledge scent. <laughs> I do. It's I mean it's it smells clean. Yes. Okay. So now this is the super easy part. You um get your booze. The cheaper, the better. Let's say this was pretty cheap, you guys. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Totally cheap. Pour that stuff in there. And this is, I think, a quart jar. I don't know, it came from my grandparents' basement. So. It smells nice. Right, you get your 750 milliliter thing of vodka. Or you get bigger because it's cheaper. Um, and then you seal it. And you can use whatever jar you have around. You can use a spaghetti sauce jar if you want. Just boil it first so that you get all the spaghetti sauce smell out of it. Mm -hmm. But you don't need a special shit. Do we literally put the jar in boiling water? Yes, boil it? literally boil the jar. Okay. Not for like 20 minutes because then you're going to have exploding glass all over your house. Mm -hmm. But like put it in there for a minute or two to get, to sterilize it. Okay. Essentially. Now you have a jar full of booze and lemon mm -hmm. and you let it sit for a week or two. That's what you do. That, what? Okay, wait, there's more. There is more. No, there's more. Okay. But like, this is, okay. but okay. but see, like, look, look how long that, that took, like, no time. Yeah. Right? And now you're like, I go away for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Usually this is when I forget that I have it, uh, that I have it infusing, and like, I come back, like, two months later, and I'm like, oh, shit. But it's really, it's, but it's extra tasty then, because it's had more time to infuse. Okay. So listen, if you leave it, it's not a big deal. Great. So, don't worry about it. Do I um, need to put it in, like, a special place? You want to put it somewhere, you don't want to leave it in the sun or, okay. you know, like anywhere too hot. Room temperature place, you know, just like your on kitchen. Counter. Yeah, on your counter. Stick it. See, I usually stick it right in the corner and then forget about it. So, okay. yeah, it's fine. If you want to, you can, I won't do it with this one because it, this one tends to leak a little bit. You can yeah. shake it up every day or two just to kind of get everything moving around and get everything, you know, mm -hmm. done like that. But that's where you're done. So, you'll notice, I put this to the side for two weeks. Oh my god, I feel like Julie Child right now. <laughs> <laughs> I said that to the side. Um, so you have these lemons that are naked, mm -hmm. right? Now you can use them for other household stuff. But you're going to need lemon juice at the end of the two weeks or whenever you get yep. done with it anyway. So at this point, this is when I just juice these anyway and freeze the juice. Because then that way... You it's just ready. Right? It's ready and yeah. you don't have to buy extra lemons in two weeks, you know, to yeah. do it again. We're not cheap. Be we're cheap. Not made of money, you guys. Okay. Wow. Right. Also from my grandparents' basement. This is amazing. <laughs> right? Isn't this awesome? What is this Hello? magical gadget? 1982 called. They want their juicer back. That's amazing. I feel like the juicers I see nowadays are like these giant industrial appliances. Right? And this is just like, no, no, we're good. This is soup's cool. Right? It's tiny, and I don't do that whole, like, carrot juice thing. Yeah. That's gross. Don't do that. What? I like it. Okay. I'm I sorry. Like carrot every now All right. And I mean, I like carrots. I don't like carrot juice. Whatever. Okay. Citrus. So, you're juicing your citrus right now. You take the knife, and you try not to cut yourself. No blood lemons <laughs> today. No friend. blood lemons. No. All right. And then you just juice it. And it's really loud and obnoxious, too. Right? Isn't it great? It's the lazy person's juicer. This feels so fancy. 
she said. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Pet it, pet it. And, I mean, it's it gonna look like a big breast yes. sticking up there, doesn't it? Yeah, just juice running all over the breast. Running. Okay. Oh, and tip that I heard somewhere is if you want to get more juice out of your lemons, you roll them really? before you juice them. Do you feel that's true? I don't know that it's true or not, but it makes me feel better, yeah. and so that's why I do it. So you just massage your naked <laughs> Massaging my naked nipple fruit. And then... <laughs> And then, yes. allow the juice. and then the juice is to drip down the breast. Uh, across the breast. Across the boobages. Yep. Yeah. I, yeah. This is one of those things where I feel like the magic of the internet should be like, and we juiced all our lemons. But no, you're going to have to sit here and watch us juice all these four lemons. lemons. Deal with it. Right? I like that my friend named Boobs brought such a, a boob. I did bring a boob. I know. Yeah. I didn't plan it that way. <laughs> But somehow, this is how it turned out. <laughs> All right. Is there a particular amount of juice you're trying to get? All of it? Cool. <laughs> um, like, I say this is not really a recipe so much as a, like, formula or a, you know, guideline set. Because I, from the original recipe, I've diverted a little bit. They wanted it. They had more, you know, simple syrup, and we'll get to the simple syrup. Um, then I liked, because I like more flavor. Ooh! This is what's going on here. Squirting. Oh, we got squirting! Yay! This is getting worse. Um, but yeah, they said, or better. <laughs> Depending on your point of view. Um, Alright, so usually, I would take this and just pour it in like a little Ziploc bag or whatever, put it in my freezer and wait a couple of weeks, you know, because mm -hmm. you'll need this when you get, yeah. when you get to the simple syrup stage. Cool. Which we're about, which we are about to get to. Oh my God. Syrup. Yay. But we're done with all of this. We're done with all those lemons. See, put those in your trash. Smell delicious. So fragrant. So fragrant. So fragrant. <laughs> Magic of the internet. Is this where the fire happens? No. Not yet. Yes, but we need to, um, before we have fire, okay, we need to know how much of this, how much of our infused vodka we have. Oh, all right. So, in general, we know how much we have because we had... It's 750, 750 milliliters. milliliters, which is how much in quarts? Oh, math times? Good I don't know. So here's what we're going to do. Because this is how I do it when I do other fruits. Because when you have like berries or whatever, that'll take up more room. So you won't have 750 milliliters. You'll have, you know, yeah. cups or whatever. Mm -hmm. So what I do at this point is pour it out so that I know how many cups of infused vodka. And it's actually already a little yellow. And yeah. That's kind of weird. Okay, because so it's been two time. weeks, you guys. It's been two weeks, of course. I'm still dressed the same. Of course, that's <laughs> actually possible. So, two cups. Two cups. So we've got roughly three cups here. Cool. All right. So I'm gonna apply. Like, ah! I'm wasting booze. Oh my god, that's terrible. We're, we're gonna have to do math now. Oh no. Okay? I'm math. sorry. There's math to be done. Your simple syrup is going to be the same amount as your infused vodka. So if you've got three and 0.175 cups, three cups is fine. Okay, so how do you make simple syrup? It's simple for a reason. It's half sugar, half water. And you boil it until, or you bring it to a, a heat until it's clear, almost boiling. So we need That's, one and a half. This sounds complicated already. No, it's not. Okay. Really. You're trying to make three cups of simple syrup. So okay. you need one cup of, sh one and a half cups of sugar, one and a half cups of water. That's, That's it. it. That's it. And then you heat it okay. until it's clear. Why is it not three cups of water and three cups of sugar? I don't know. Okay. Don't ask me more <laughs> questions. <laughs> I don't know how to make simple syrup. Yes. I All right. legit like ran away from simple syrup for a very long time. So, but simple syrup is simple. It's not hard. I think I get nervous. I'm going to burn it somehow, and then it'll just be like no, it's charred fine. sugar. It's fine. Okay, I believe good. It. See, this is this works better when I have been drinking because then I'm just like, it's fine. Whatever it turns out, it's fine. It's fine. So this is a cup. So we have sugar. So much sugar. So much sugar. So much sugar. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to dump the whole thing in the pot. 
And then uh, that looks like a yeah, that looks like a half. About, about a cup and a half of sugar. A cup and a half sugar, cup Great. and a half of water. Simple. So far very easy. Now I was once told that you should not use dry measuring cups for measuring liquid. True or false? I don't know what you're asking me. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't cook. I make foods. <laughs> and now, because you can see, like, the sugar is separate from the water, right? So you just want it so that the sugar, you don't see the sugar separate from the water anymore. It just looks like a clear liquid. Okay. You can stir it if you want. This is also a really good time if you're going to add an herb mm -hmm. to it. I meant to bring some basil today and I forgot. But if you're going to add an herb, this is a good time to add it um, so that you can add like a little rosemary, a little basil, a little mint, whatever you want. Does it um, need to be fresh herbs or can it be dry? It can be dry. I haven't tried it with dry, but it'll be fine. Yeah. You would use less dry mm -hmm. than you would use fresh because the herbs are concentrated in the dry. Mm -hmm. If they're fresh dried, that makes no sense. But if they're like, if they're under a year, if, okay. you're, if you've had some mint that's been sitting in your cabinet for like three years, you're gonna need to add a boatload of that because otherwise it's gonna, because it loses its flavor over time. I see. But this is where you just add a little rosemary and just boop, boop, and let it kind of infuse in while you're mm -hmm. making the simple syrup. So yeah, we just stand here while Being the glamorous. magic of chemistry yeah. does its work. So there's like little bubbles happening here. There's little bubbles. As it starts to heat up. Yep. And you don't want to boil it because that'll give you jelly. Okay. You don't so want jelly. You don't, you don't want jelly. So it's just, you don't have to stand here and go, oh my God, is it there yet? But you just don't want to like let it, like, yeah. w like put it on and then walk away for 10 minutes and then be like, oh crap, now I've got jelly. Right. You know. But then say, hey, you'll have jelly? But, you'll yes. have jelly. but it doesn't have any flavor. It's just like sugar and water. So it's mm. jelly water. No, I don't know. I don't know. Because you have clearly never let it go to jelly state. No, never. Stop it, Sarah. Oh, I've never done done a thing where I've like put it on and walked away <laughs> and then come back and my pot is like black because I completely forgot it was there Ooh. and then it, you know, had to throw out the pot. Never. No, nope. never. Has not been. once. Certainly not after I've been drinking previous batches. Never. Nope. Didn't happen. It's a good thing I have an expert here. With yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm here. <laughs> I'm the expert. So we're almost there. Actually. Yeah, it is starting it. to get. It's more getting. Yeah, it's translucent. Yeah, yes. it's uncloudy. -ing. Yes, that's so bizarre. It's the miracle of like chemistry and physics and shit. I can't believe this is the thing I was so nervous this is, about. Yeah, this is simple syrup. It yes. literally takes five minutes. Oh my goodness. Like a, and it's so easy. I know, but I was nervous about it too. I was like, and then they like make a simple syrup. Yeah. Ah, what does that mean? And this is something I see when I watch like the the professional cooking shows. The mm -hmm. networks devoted to food. Right. And they're like simple syrup. Burr, burr, right. Burr, or like cocktails. I, I love when like, bars are like homemade simple syrup. Yeah. I'm like, bitch, you boiled some sugar and some water. <laughs> Don't even. Almost boiled some. Almost sugar boiled some sugar and some water. Right. So it's simple syrup. It's simple syrup. Here's the part that um, we we are not going to be able to do because it'll take too long and we don't need to stand around for an hour while this cools. Um, let it cool completely okay. because you're going to add your booze to it. Mm -hmm. And if you add your booze to it and it's still hot, your booze will cook off. And what's the point of that? Then what are we doing? Then what are we doing? doing? <laughs> exactly. So do this. Now is the point where you can walk away for like an hour and it will be fine. Okay. Okay. Let it sit. Let it cool off. This is also a really good time um, to help it cool. You have frozen your uh, juice. Yes. So Hot if your juice is, it's usually the frozen little ice cube. You just pour that back in there oh. and it cools it down. It's like a little ice cube. I also, love saving this. time, saving effort. Right? Magic of the internet. My magic cooling powers. I am Mr. Freeze. It's cold now. Thank goodness. Right? Mr. Freeze is here. Oh God. All right. So now it's all cold. Now, Ooh. and you pour your booze in there. 
This is where a strainer also comes in handy. Boom. And all the booze goes into the sugar syrup. All the booze goes into the sugar syrup. Great. All of it. And now you have, the, I mean, if these were like strawberries or something, you could actually eat them and they're boozy strawberries and it's delicious. Um, but don't eat lemon peel. It's kind of gross. <laughs> can I just chew on it? Is I mean, you can. I mean, if, you're the, I mean, if, if you're that much of an alcoholic I, and you really need your booze that bad, do it, okay? I'm no judgment. Um, and now, basically, you're finished. What? You're basically finished. Okay. This is it. Okay. <laughs> She's looking at me like, what? Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you're done. Okay, there's a couple things you need. What? I, you faked me out on this, we're done. There's, like, I mean, we're almost done. <laughs> you basically pour it, now you pour it into a bottle and wait four weeks. So, let me get my pretty bottle here. Fancy bottle. Great. And you'll notice this has a little bit of pulp in it. Mm -hmm. So if the pulp bothers you, um, you can use your strainer. Just strain it again. Just strain it again. Right? Right? How complicated is it? Usually I do this over a sink because it does get a little messy. So we're going to do it. I'm hoping this. this. Okay, this isn't. Well, because we cooled it. It's not yeah. hot, but I just don't want to. Ah! It's not too bad. It's not, it's not terrible. No! Boom! Now. You let it sit for four to six weeks. Four to six weeks? Because you want the flavors to mellow. Okay. You want the the lemon and the and the sugar. And the sugar and the and the vodka to kind of mellow with that with that um, simple syrup so it's kind of so it yeah. tastes like you know, it's not like, oh my god, lemon vodka! You know, it's like, ooh, like, this is yeah. delicious. And these make a great um, they also make a great like spritzer with like yeah. if you're using. Well, I mean, we could use Lacroix. <laughs> we were talking about Lacroix like earlier. Club soda. A club soda, like a like a club soda, or um, I have a soda stream at home, so I just make my own little yes. soda water mm -hmm. and make like a nice little spritzer. It's so awesome in the middle of winter to be like, look at me, I'm citrusy and fabulous. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Oh, because yeah. I I need ways to get through the winter, you guys. That's right. Chicago winters totally real. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. But this is the best. This is it. So four to six weeks, let it mellow, let it do its thing, put a nice bow on it, it's ready for gift giving. Hey friends, as we take a moment now to wait for our booze to fully infuse, let us enjoy a very special performance from Boobs Rattling. Thank you. Some of these days, you're gonna miss me, honey.
I always gave you your way. And if you leave me, you know it's gonna grieve me. You're gonna miss your sweet love and mama some of these days. Well, after that incredible performance, I, I just needed a cooling off beverage. Oh my, oh my. I mean, so, what can I say? That was amazing. Oh my god, so good. Yeah. So, uh, we have allowed our booze to infuse sealed in the bottle for a month, two months, four to six weeks, four to six weeks, and now we have a delicious limoncello. I'm very excited to try this. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my. Mmm. That's good. Right? That is good. Right? There was never any doubt in my mind. Do not get me wrong. But this is both sweet. It is tart. It's smooth. Yeah. Oh man. It's, yeah. And it'll fuck you up. Okay. <laughs> so be careful. Yeah, don't forget, this is just vodka, you guys. Right? I, I always do, I like make this pour where I'm like, oh, it's like wine or it's like soda. No, it's, not it's wine. vodka. Straight vodka. This is basically uh, a martini. Mm hmm. So there's that. Um, Treat it like one. Years ago, when I, when I lived in the beautiful country of Italy, uh, we would have limoncello in these teeny, teeny, yeah. tiny glasses. And I was like, what's why? But this is just, I said that's not enough. Yeah. It's enough. Oh, man. Now I can have this in my own home here in the United States of America. Anytime you want. Oh my goodness. This is <laughs> a real treat. Oh my. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, yeah. And I brought, do you want to try the other kind? Can I brought? Yes, yeah. absolutely. All right, so here. Gotcha. So this is a strawberry rhubarb I made at the beginning of the summer. Ooh. So I infused the rhubarb. And then when I was making the simple syrup, I put in um, some strawberries that I had. Kind of making a strawberry syrup mm -hmm. and then you know mixing it all together and then this is what you get. Ooh. This so this has been aged even longer than I need Yeah, so this is I mean, yeah, it's been it's been aged quite some time. Quite some time. So nice. and it's good to stay. You can keep it for like a year in a cool dry place. Wow. Because there's so much booze in it that You're it's like it kills everything. You're fine. It smells very light and fresh. It's this is summertime in a in a glass. Cheers. So, cheers. Wow, that is lovely. Right, you make a little spritzer with this. Yeah. And on your back porch, and you're just like, yes, please, hello oh summer, who needs rosé? You don't, not when you have this. Yes, oh man, this this is game changer right here for summertime, oh man. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, in the middle, like it's February, and you're like, I hate everyone. Pull some of this out, make yourself a little spritzer, turn the heat up, put on, you know, some like, Frankie Avalon in a Net Funicello movie. And just be like, yes, it's summertime. Screw you. It's super light, very sweet. Just really, yeah. It, there's no, there are no bubbles in here, but I feel bubbly just bubbly. drinking it. Like this is so nice. Yeah. Can I put this on like an ice cream? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> she changed my day. I'm like, what? I can put it on ice cream or pour it over like a. A sponge cake or yes. something, do a little a nice little whipped cream on top. Oh <gasps> yes. Could I take those berries that we had used in the in the process of making this, put that on top of that cake? You might be able to. They might be too boozy. Ah. Yeah. You might wanna Let's be fair. Yeah. I would have eaten those months ago. Right, she yeah. So That's true. She's fine. Yeah. Well booze, you've taught me so much today. <laughs> I'm happy to teach you about about booze. Booze all. Drink both of these. Right? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, friends at home. <laughs>
Drink responsibly, number one. Uh, number Don't two, drink and drive, kids. Where, where can people find you on the various social medias? On the social medias? Uh, gosh, now you're asking me hard questions. Yeah. Um, my Instagram is at boobsradleybq. Uh, my social media, I have a website, www.boobsradley.com. So oh. you can find me there and get directions to all of my various social medias. But Excellent. my Instagram has been popping lately. No. so I have been enjoying your photos on that. Right. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. It's been fun. So, friends, go, go find her on the interwebs and then go see her shows in real life because, as you heard, she is incredible. And uh, drink some fabulous beverages. Treat yourself, friends. Um, Treat yourself. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.